It is officially that time of year again where we are looking at our wardrobe and saying, I'm not gonna be wearing this for a very long time. If you live somewhere like Canada, you know that the Four Seasons have great impact on our lifestyle outside and especially our wardrobe. Hey, I'm Amanda. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. Welcome back if you've been here before and today we are gonna be doing a complete summer to autumn switch over. The temperatures have started to drop and that means that the wool content the cashmere content needs to start going up in my wardrobe. And I feel like I figured out some tips along the way that can make your wardrobe switch over a little bit easier this year if you haven't got to it yet. And even if you have, I always find it helpful to watch these videos even before creating my own or doing my own wardrobe switch over just because there is so much to learn. Now, last year, instead of putting away all of my things for the season ahead, I tried to have everything out. I tried to calm my wardrobe down so I could see absolutely absolutely everything that I owned. But I have found now, moving into the autumn season, that this has confused me when choosing outfits. It kind of just clutters up the system. So I want to switch things up, completely remove my summer wear, my holiday wear from my wardrobe, see what I've got in front of me, and then kind of see if it matches up with my vision board. We're going to call through a few items. I'm going to show you my tried, tested, and true items that have carried me through wardrobe and style-wise season after season according to what I feel like my style should be. And we're gonna talk about the three words as well that you can use to hopefully establish your style in the future. If all of that sounds good to you, let's dive right in. Now, if you've never heard of the three word rule or kind of the process of it before, it's basically choosing three words to identify your personal style. When we look at our wardrobe and we're super confused, it's probably because we haven't fully honed in on where we see our personal style at the moment. And I say at the moment, because because I am a firm believer that personal style evolves over exposure, travel, seeing new things, creating our vision, and simply just being human and evolving in our own creative space and the way we want to show up in the world. But my three words that I'm going to be really sticking to throughout this video are going to be elegant, feminine, and classic. My goal is to create a timeless wardrobe that will carry me season after season so I can buy less, but buy better. The first step in this process is to pull absolutely everything out. Now you can do this in a few different ways. If you're like me, you absolutely love just bear hugging your closet, lifting it off the rack and throwing it on the bed and going through it piece by piece. But I've also seen methods that if that feels really overwhelming to you, this is most certainly not something that I want you to do. What I would rather you do is go through piece by piece on the rack as if you were shopping at a winner's or something like that and just pull out the pieces that are undeniably the season before, AKA if we're going into fall, it would be summer that you're pulling out. You're looking for fabrics like linen, those soft patterns that simply don't make a sense for the season ahead, or those pieces that you just love to pull out when it is the absolute height and hottest day in summer. And when it comes to my most favorite pieces, I wanna be able to put a piece away for the next year's use and be super sad to see it leave my wardrobe. That means that I have officially found a piece in my wardrobe that is totally me and totally going to be elegant, feminine, and classic. Okay, so walking into the wardrobe right now, it's a bit of a tip, but it's like organized chaos. We've got long hanging things. That's like whole all higgledy piggledy. That's where I keep all of my athletic gear. I've got my laundry, some boots, jackets, sweaters, but you can tell it's kind of confusing because there's such obvious winter, but then also summer. And then I've got my shoe boxes up there, but it doesn't look the best. There's like some shoe filling out of it. These shoes, and there's so many that I didn't even wear this summer and that I don't foresee myself wearing and some other ones that are definitely going to be the A-game shoes. And then just all these bags are a little bit confusing and my belts are also confusing. On this side, I know, how lucky is she to have two wardrobes, um, one of dresses and then coats. And I just feel as though kind of calling this down will be so, so helpful. So I think we'll work on that last. This is the main area I wanna work on. And then in here as well, 
Eventually, I'm going to knock all of this out and do a full built-in Pax wardrobe system. Um, this drawer system has been amazing. I think I might move that into our spare bedroom in that wardrobe and just kind of design this better. But for now, I think what we could do is just cull this down, switch it over and pack away that summer kit. I have also found that having a clothing rack can really help. Now, if you have the space for it, it's amazing. But if you don't, simply just moving things aside on your rack can be really nice too. Just pull it out so you have a space where things are hanging and it's really easy to look at everything. of my sweaters and my tops so immediately what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the rack and fold up anything that is so clearly summer and put it back in the bin and then put those hangers back in the closet one of the practices that has helped me out so much in the past has been creating a style vision board it just kind of reminds me and recenters me to the pieces that I really want to keep in my wardrobe and the wardrobe that I am hopefully building for the future and this has been really helpful when I'm deciding between two pieces or I'm deciding whether to keep or donate one of the pieces that I have in my wardrobe I have a more for a long time I can then reference this guide and then say does it fit within this and if no then it might actually be better in someone else's home and actually being worn create that style vision board and here's how canva is one of my greatest tools and so what I do is I go in and I use the YouTube thumbnail already preset sizing I always just label my things because it's really nice to create these year over year to see maybe how your style has changed and that's definitely something I've started to do to open the snipping tool on a Mac, you do shift command three. It's so easy and as soon as you get it down, it's gonna be one of your favorite things. I promise I even do this for when I'm kind of designing a room in my home. But let's get back to wardrobe. I type in things like classic wardrobe, elegant wardrobe, feminine, wardrobe. I mean, all those words that we've already talked about, but also I direct it towards fall. So if you don't have any Pinterest boards started yet, you can be classic fall style, things like that, that will really start to kind of come up um, and populate. And the more that you interact with apps like this, the more you're going to see this kind of thing. So I actually already have some boards set out. So I was kind of pulling from some of the boards that I had already pre-created in mine. You can follow my Pinterest at below the blonde. And then once you have snipped all of those, they're gonna end up on your desktop. And I just grab all of them. I populate them into Canva and I pull them onto my board. And then I just start to play. I just start to shift things around and there will be some photos that you love the most, some that you're like, okay, I kind of just want to pull this accessory, etc. And you just move them around and then kind of create a board. And one extra thing that I really love to do is to pull in shapes. Now the circle shape, I pull that in, I resize it. And then all you have to do is make sure you have your arrow tool and press option on your keyboard and make sure it's clicked and dragged to the side and it will just immediately copy or you can do control C, control V for copy and paste. And then I basically take the eyedropper tool and I will eye drop some of the things around the board. Now I noticed this one was kind of blending in so I added a little outside round white um, kind of outline and I ended up doing that on all of them because I like the way it looked and then I just eyedropper tooled around the whole board to get my fall palette and add it in my title you can then save it from there it's very easy right to your desktop if you ever need to refer back to it one thing I find hard too is there are some nostalgia pieces like I've had these in my wardrobe for such a long time but when I truly look at my vision board of where I want things to go these don't necessarily fit so I think I'm going, I think it's time to let go of this old version of myself. And, and I think when I look at what my wardrobe will look like at the end, it'll feel good. It's a bit painful in the in-between, but it's gonna feel really good once it's all in situ and the things that shouldn't be there anymore aren't. So I was starting to go through my things and I started getting like overwhelmed because sometimes I will take out my summer spring stuff and then I'll just kind of put 
all of my fall and winter stuff back without actually mindfully going through it. So I'm like, no, you need to refer back to your vision board. And now I feel so clear because there are truly pieces I have not worn at all. And though I have high hopes to, maybe two of that season will go by and still I'm not wearing it. And I feel like living with holding on to that stuff that you don't need, just clutters up your space, clutters up your life, and it removes the potential for new space in your wardrobe to really craft what you want it all to look like. So I am going to be a little bit cutthroat. I'm gonna make some piles and kind of um, work through this a little bit differently. I'm going to, so I've taken out the spring summer stuff that's an immediately immediate yes, but clearly just not gonna be in my wardrobe this season. And now we're gonna make some piles. We're gonna do this. <laughs> okay guys, let me know if this is you too. I reached the middle point in doing this project and then I look at everything and I'm just like, I don't wanna do this anymore. <laughs> you just get so overwhelmed. So I'm just gonna need to bite this off in smaller pieces. And then you find pieces like this, like this leather jacket obviously fits me so perfectly it was made to fit me but I don't know it's just not my style I don't know what do you think do you keep things like this like this is such a high value product and obviously it fits me perfectly do you keep things like this in the back of your wardrobe in hopes that they will come back into your own personal style? Maybe the challenge for me will be finding a couple things to see if I could integrate this into my style. I just feel like a leather jacket is very much far away from those three words. So as much as I've done a ton of research on fashion trends and what I want my personal style to be, and I've done this so many times, I still run into these roadblocks all the time. And I've had this in particular in my wardrobe for three or four seasons. And I could probably count the amount of times I've worn it on my hand. So maybe I can sell it? <sighs> Let me know. Okay, I will say though, sometimes you do find pieces on the opposite end of the spectrum. I've had these pants from Aritzia for over five years, probably five or six years. And I was just debating, they fit me perfectly by the way. And I was just debating, ooh, you know what? It might be time to switch it up, take them out of my wardrobe. They're perfect, my mom's even fixed. They actually had kind of like let out the bottom. That's another good tip is to make sure that you're checking on everything seams and everything like that before putting it in. But this matches so perfectly with this hazelnut sweater. Like I feel like there is an outfit in the making here, whereas before I would just wear a white turtleneck with this and I was just getting bored. There is definitely something to be said for just getting bored of pieces, even if they still fit you so well. Um, but I think, I think this is gonna live to see another day because we are definitely going into a trouser era and the houndstooth is definitely a classic type of print. So these are living another day. This is the progress I've made so far. I've moved my jackets to this side just to spice it up. So then maybe I'll look to this side and I really do feel like this palette is reflecting the palette that I have on my vision board. And then I just have a collection of Lululemon things as I work with Lululemon. So I just am so lucky to have some extra pieces from them and some loungewear. And then I added my knit dresses on this side. They're usually in this wardrobe, but I put them here. But when I'm looking at this closet, the issue is up here. It is absolutely awful. Um, the only issue is I don't wanna buy too many bins because I'm going to be changing all of this anyways. So I think what I wanna do is remove all of the summer bits that could be summer. I wanna take all of these shoes out and possibly move this unit to the other closet. And I wanna put my boots there because currently they're kind of down here and I can't see them and it's hard to visualize the full outfit. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move some of those bits and then I think once I do that, it'll help me get clear on kind of the outliers and we've decluttered some bits away. It's been good so far. I was at the wrong place at the right time. Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing under the night sky 
when you took my hands and let's see now don't wanna be shy So one of the biggest pain points has been my shoe area. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put away some of the summer shoes so we can have some more space. But already this is just looking more calm than it was before. And once we target this, I feel like even maybe some zhuzhing, some belts over there, but just too many, too many bits. And especially when they're so clearly summer sandals. We went to a small bar with neon lights. Talked about everything that was on our mind. Talking to you, give me back. So I honestly think I'm going to get rid of almost every single one of these pairs, maybe except for these two. My style's changed and things have changed. I just want to make room for the new styles, like these ones. All right, quick update. I feel so good right now because we have got one bucket up. These have been sorted and a few extra things have been put in there. This was originally holding the extra purses. I've just kind of put them there until we have a better solution. Those are kind of my play purses. Um, so they're a little bit less precious to me than this sort. And these have been put up here as well. I've got the one of summer shoes. And then this is just so much more calming. And I thought I was gonna move this to the other side, but... It actually works quite well there. It would basically just be the exact same on the other side until we can like build out this unit properly. So now I think the challenge is going to be sorting through these dresses just a touch. I do have a couple of outliers. And so what I am going to do next, I've also sorted out a bunch of this. This is like PR. I'm going to actually bring to volleyball tonight. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna see if any of the gals wanna pick and play with what I've got kind of left over from some PR packs. It's always nice to kind of gift it forward to some friends. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is fill this with some summer stuff, put that away, see where we're at, at the, on the dress front. But in the meantime, I am also going to create a list. So there's a few white t-shirts that have kind of seen their cost per wear. They have seen their heyday. And there's a few different little bits that I actually really wanna to add to my wardrobe. And I wanna put that down because it's all about, like I said earlier, buying less, but buying better and really having a plan when it comes to wish list. I also wanna create a wardrobe equilibrium where one goes in, one comes out. And excitingly, <laughs> I have a Cezanne box. So my reward when I am finished doing all of this is opening that Cezanne box. Um, and as you know, I love their clothing. So we're moving in the right direction of that quality and really aligning with those three words. But while I was feeling so overwhelmed earlier, let me tell you, once you get started, as soon as you get over that hump and you can see the light, whew, feels so good. I think I got rid of, I think I got rid of like, eight or nine pairs of shoes. And though it felt like a lot, kind of shoving them all into the charity bag, I feel so good. I have not worn them in so, so long. So this is actually to donate so far. I have some purses as well. I'm gonna see if the gals want tonight. I'm gonna give this little lemon purse to um, my niece and I have a couple of other little bits. But yeah, we are rolling. And I have some more um, little tidbits of wisdom of how I've done this throughout it because it is just so hard to focus and co-light as you go. But I hope you're liking this video so far. I love whenever I shoot these videos and whenever I watch them, you can noticeably tell that the sun is changing because it takes so long. I can't wait to show you guys where we're at so far. Still gotta deal with that pile, 
but oh my goodness, it just looks so much better in here. What I've also done is I've brought in all of my more like autumnally wintery dresses from here. Originally, I was going to make all of this into a bin of what summer, but to be honest, a lot of these are summer. Now there are some like this one that I could definitely wear in the fall. This one, the long sleeve I can definitely wear in the fall, but, um, and of course these ones, but I just felt like it was nice to bring out a couple so I can kind of notice my dresses more. I find that because when I come in here in the morning, this is obviously the closet I open up to get dressed in. Um, I often forget about my dresses or I don't like, I don't know. It's more likely I'm gonna be wearing a top and bottom versus a dress during the day just because that's what I see. So I hope that that will force me to wear a few more of my dresses. So in situ right now, we have got all of this PR gear and I'm gonna go through it um, to bring some of it, like I said, to some gals tonight. But I'm not even gonna shoot a time lapse of that because that has nothing to do with the closet. But just saying, sometimes you shove things in your closet. I know you know what I'm talking about. You just shove stuff in your closet. It has nothing to do with your wardrobe and it just ends up there. So might as well go through that too. Hello, you guys. Okay, of course, this went into two days because it takes so long to get a project done like this. So my first tip on the back end of this video is definitely give yourself time, whether that be at least a half day or a full day. It's really nice to just throw on a podcast or a YouTube video, have some company with you virtually, and just get to it, especially if you're tackling accessories and shoes. But here are the last tips for switching over your wardrobe. The first one I'm gonna to touch on is the final call. Sometimes you just get in a groove and you start putting things back in your wardrobe that actually don't make sense for your personal style. Maybe you're forgetting to look at that vision board or you're just kind of getting sick of the process. So you're like, okay, I'm just gonna put this bag in here so I can finish the process. That's where the final call comes in really handy because hopefully you're gonna have less things in your wardrobe. So it's easier to see everything that's in there and then identify when you have a sweater that you're not too keen on, haven't really worn the past couple years next to a sweater that you are absolutely obsessed with that you wear all the time you're gonna really be able to see the difference between those two and it's gonna be a little bit easier to kind of take that one out you're not as keen on because you can see all of the other items that you do have so the final call for me I think I'm gonna do it today and I really think that's going to be helpful especially when doing the second tip the second tip is creating that wish list that wardrobe wish list and even some of the pieces that you might already have I had a few white t-shirts that were absolutely super tired. I had worn them an absolute time. They had finally had a few stains on them and reasons that I could definitely shift them out of my wardrobe and upgrade them once again. So I purchased three new t-shirts from Uniqlo, my absolute favorite place to purchase t-shirts. They're really nice and structured. They're nice and like kind of starchy and they just look really upscale. It's the U crew and they're also super affordable. I purchased two white ones and one black one. And when those came in, it helped me really achieve that wardrobe equilibrium I was talking about earlier, where it's like, now that I feel like I have a really great amount of pieces, definitely not a minimalist wardrobe, but I can pull something out and put something back in. And I feel like that's gonna really help me stay on top of the items that I do have and not get too overwhelmed in my closet. It is so true. It was painful to get rid of a couple of things, but now that I see my wardrobe, I love it. It is so much more calming and is so much easier to choose an outfit in the morning and if you're kind of waffling in and out about a piece that you haven't worn for a few seasons honestly just get rid of it because it's gonna just open up your space and I think you're really gonna like having that and the final tip of course is to take care of the pieces that you do have we mentioned this in terms of patching holes and things like that but when you're putting things back into your wardrobe especially if you're doing the switch over where you had things in buckets and now you're kind of putting them back on the hanger is also if you don't have enough time to do this all in one day plan an afternoon where again you throw in a podcast some music or a YouTube video and you just get to ironing and you do kind of everything all at the same time because then when you want to choose that wardrobe that piece is going to be so ready for you and so well cared for so that's it for me i hope you really like this wardrobe switch over thank you so much for being my company during this process i absolutely love the way my wardrobe is looking currently but i know that there are some big projects that i look forward to doing to make it so much more organized so much more beautiful and so much more streamlined but 
season after season we move we try our best and i'm really happy with where it's sitting right now i think we're going in a good direction i hope you guys are doing well and good luck with your own wardrobe switch over let me know if you have any questions down below or if you have any extra tips i will most certainly add them in to the next one we'll see you in the next video guys bye at the wrong place at the right time because suddenly there you were